Hi, friend. Let's see who's here today. Hi, Sophia. Hi, James. Hi, Robert. And hi, Margaret. I'm Audrey, and this is a hot story time. Today we're going to read Peppa Pig and the Lost Dinosaur. This is Mommy Pig. This is Peppa. This is George. And this is Daddy Pig. Where do you think they are? That's right. They are in. George and Peppa's room, and I guessed it. They're standing in bunk bed, and their toys and their paintings, which are on the wall. What do you think has happened? Something about dinosaur. George is crying. Let's read. George loves playing with Mr. Dinosaur. He tosses him up. Mr. Dinosaur comes down, up and down, up and down. George would like to play with Mr. Dinosaur all day, but Mommy Pig is calling. Peppa, George, it's shopping day. Time to go to the market. The first stop is the fruit seller. Peppa tries and. Apple, yum! She says. Mommy Pig buys a bag of apple. Did Peppa like red apple or green apple? That's right, red apple. You like red apple? I do. At the cheese stall, George knows which one he wants. The stinky one. Daddy Pig sniffs the cheese. Oh my! He says, "The cheese is too stinky for Daddy Pig. This is a blue cheese, and it is very stinky. But some people love the taste. There are so many choices at the fish stall. It's hard to decide what to get. So Mommy Pig buys one of each." Peppa and her family get to Mr. Fox's stall just in time. It's raining. He has an umbrella for everyone. Time to go home, says Daddy Pig. Let's play, says Peppa. Yes, says George. Dinosaur. He looks around. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! George starts to cry. Oh no! Says Daddy Pig. Mr. Dinosaur is lost. Have you ever lost your favorite stuffy or favorite toy? I'm good at finding things, says Peppa. I will find him. Peppa looks. All around, maybe Mr. Dinosaur is in the bathtub. She says, but Mr. Dinosaur isn't in the bathtub. I will look in George's bed. She says, but Mr. Dinosaur isn't in George's bed either. Maybe George dropped Mr. Dinosaur at the market. Says Daddy Pig. Let's go to the police station. And see if Officer Panda and Officer Squirrel can help. And George is still crying. He's so sad. Officer Panda and Officer Squirrel ask George many questions. Please tell us everything you can about your dinosaur, says Officer Panda. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur says George. There are so many, many lost things at the station. They have lots of different dinosaurs. There's a purple one, a red one, and a blue one. But they don't have Mister Dinosaur in the car. George is sad, but then he remembers something. 
back at home, George runs to the yard. Everyone follows. They look all around. Can you look around in these pages? What do you see? Look up this tree. Look up here. What do you see? It's the dinosaur. Look here. And something falls down from the tree and bonk! It's Daddy Pig on the head. What was that? says Daddy Pig. Mr. Dinosaur says Peppa. Dinosaur says George. And that was the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed reading this book with me. And if you like this book, you can ask your grown-up, borrow this book from the library, or you can purchase this book from the link that I have provided for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.